Reimagining Tamil Nadu, and that was a tagline behind Kamal Hassan's Makkal Nidhi Mayam, the party's recent uh, office bearers meeting at Chennai. And very clearly, the that hashtag mentions that TN elections 2021, and that seems to be the goal for Makkal Nidhi Mayam and Kamal Hassan, who claims that he's preparing for the elections, unlike Rajnikanth, where we have not yet got a concrete uh, message or information about whether even if he's going to float a party or not. While Kamal Hassan's two year old party is getting Getting ready to compete with a 70-year-old DMK and a 50-year-old AIA DMK. Kamal Hassan also has very clearly mentioned that he will not join an alliance with these two parties, who he uh, you know, claims to be uh, corrupt, actually. And that's the reason he claims that Kamal Hassan, based on the recent statistics, Makkal Nidhi Mayam, a two-year-old party, is actually growing up to become a third front. In fact, he claims that the party is ready to become the third front in Tamil Nadu. In fact, earlier also, he tried to equate Makkal Nidhi Mayam with Aam Admi Party and he said that Tamil Nadu is actually getting ready to face an event like 2013, what occurred in Delhi. So that is how he is actually providing a kind of explanation as to what exactly is happening. This is in between Kamal Hassan acting in movies and also hosting Big Boss. In between all this, Kamal Hassan says that he is preparing all these events and not just that. On one side, Kamal Hassan claims that he is also overwhelmed by the support he is getting from the women carers and all such events have been dis like, no, discussed in this matter. But very categorically, Kamal Hassan still does not want to talk about certain issues. For instance, in the state of Tamil Nadu, for the past 10 days, it was BJP's campaign over Manu Smriti. Tol Tirmavalavan, a VCK leader, Vidhali Sritikul Kachi, a Dalit-centric party, actually spoke about certain issues, quoting uh, uh, Manasuti, claiming that it is actually degrading women. So what happened is that BJP went ahead and they actually targeted Tol Tirmavalavan, claiming that he has spoken ill of women and he should apologize. When this question was put forward in front of Kamal Hassan, what does he think about Manasuti? He very clearly mentioned that, touch my constitution, I shall react. Why should I bother about something that is not in practice? Though he claims that Manas Rumiti is not in practice, entirely a different situation is happening. But that way, he tried to negate speaking over it. However, he was a bit critical about BJP as well. And he claimed that Vail Yatra, which the BJP is actually the president for, for the state, El Murgan, is trying to hold, is unnecessary and could be avoided. So that way, he has given that information as well. But for now, Kamal Hassan has very clearly mentioned that he is not joining hands with any Karagams, which is Dravida Muneta Karagam or Anna Dravida Muneta Karagam. And that way, he has provided an explanation over here. And not just that, he's also trying to say that once, like, Makkal Nidhi Mayam comes to power, the first signature would be on Lokpal. So these are the informations Kamal Hassan has provided with that, well, like, you know, tagline about reimagining Tamil Nadu. But the only thing that we need to, like, you know, question about here is that how is a two-year-old party going to compete with DMK and a ADMK. For instance, even though their tagline in Tamil means Nali Namade, which means tomorrow is ours, there is still a question mark that is lingering behind that tagline Nali Namade with a question mark. With camera person Vijay Shekhar, Pramod Madhav, Formidable.